Hi, everyone. Welcome back from break. If you remember, last semester, we were talking about the theological virtues. A little reminder of what those are, faith, hope, and love. And what are the theological virtues? They're the things given to us in our baptism. They come completely from God, and we can't earn them. But we can certainly ask God to help us to receive them better. As we go along in the rest of the year, we're going to talk about a different kind of virtue. These are called the cardinal virtues. Now, these are virtues that we can actually practice over time. And we can get better at as humans. Now, I'm not talking about the St. Louis cardinal virtues, although Father Scott would really like that. This is Royals country, so we're not going to do that. They're called the cardinal virtues because in Latin, cardinal means hinge. What is a hinge? A hinge on a door connects it to the frame. It gives it strength, and it allows it to swing and to do what it's meant to do. So the cardinal virtues, the hinge virtues, are the same. They help us to live a good life. They help us to be happy. Now, there are four of them. This month, we're going to talk about the first hinge virtue, which is prudence. You may have never heard of the word prudence before. Let's see what it means. It means basically making the right decision. Another way of looking at it is the ability to see a situation and know what should be done, how it should be done, when it should be done. It can still be kind of a hard concept. So I wonder if Jesus gave us an example of prudence. He did in one of his parables. In Matthew chapter 7, Jesus tells us the story of two different men. One builds his house on solid rock. When the winds come and the floods come and the rain comes, the house stands because it has been set solidly. The other man, foolishly, builds his house on sand. When the rain comes, the floods come, and the winds blow, the house falls down. In this story, we can see what prudence is. Prudence, again, remember the definition, is to make the right decision, to look at a situation and know what should be done. For the next month, we're going to be learning more about the virtue of prudence and trying to grow in it. But for now, this is a good start. So here are some discussion questions. Number one, have you ever made a wrong decision before and had to learn from it? What did you learn? Number two, when Jesus tells us to build our house on solid rock, what do you think he's talking about? All right, see you next week.